Well, hello and welcome back to another Movie Studio Platinum 12 tutorial. And this tutorial we should be going to the trimmer, as I mentioned on a previous video, but I thought before we move into that, I would go ahead and show you a couple of features that I, you know, I think is better for you to know them now than later, okay? Now, also I have a couple of questions because Movie Studio Platinum 13 is out and, you know, to upgrade or not to upgrade to buy the, the 13 version not to buy. Well, my honest opinion is not to buy and not to upgrade just now. And the reason for this is because when uh, Sony launches a software, he, he, they send it out before it's, it's actually finished because they need somebody to start to use it and so they can detect the bugs and fix all these bugs. So there is a lot of people that already buy just because it comes out. They buy because they, you know, shiny object uh, syndrome. And they buy so you know in your case since you are my subscriber and you know i recommend the best thing for you to do is to try and get a movie studio platinum 12 on ebay or amazon you know you usually get that for a really cheap price and this version everything works okay there is no problems there is all the version everything has been fixed you know and then these things have been fixed that's when sony usually comes up with a new version after they fix uh, you know the current the current uh, uh, interface okay now what you do then is after you register it sony vegas after you have an account or profile with them you then get massive discounts okay so, so they give you as much as 50 sometimes even 70 percent discount for you to upgrade they keep sending you special offers and all sorts so you know so you upgrade okay so here you go so my opinion is get get movies to the platinum 12 for now or eight for another 12 months until the software is at least all fixed and then if you buy it you have no crash crash problems and uh, encoding problems and stuff like that now let's look at the other features that i want to tell you before we move to the trimmer we'll do the trimmer in the next video is i want you to pay attention to what we have here so this one's down here we have the explorer so basically the explorer shows you everything that you have on your desktop so everything that is on your computer will show here on the on the left and then once you select the folder okay here on the right shows what's inside of that folder which then you can uh, uh, obviously click on it and preview you can actually preview this video on the trimmer by clicking on play hello okay, and it thank shows you very what much that for video is this video. Okay. I'm Josep. and then so on you know but this again i will do this and show you a bit more about this on the next video when we use in the trimmer Next we have the project media. So the project media is any media that you add into, into the GUI, okay, uh, either here or into the trimmer. You know, if you add the, the media here, or you can also use the trimmer to trim, that's, you know, trimmer basically shops bits of footage and put it together into your project media, or you can just add it to your timeline. Anything that you add into the system goes here okay that's your local for the files that you're working with so if you delete it from the timeline you can always go back to your project media and drag and drop them back into your timeline uh, so here you know this everyone knows everyone finds this one pretty quick which is the transactions okay so transactions you basically you know you can select it all like i go here then you select each one so you preview them and then you add it to your media uh, the next one is video effects so video effects it's the same thing, you just select to, see, to preview what they do, what they are. We will be using them in the later videos. But for now, I'm just telling you where you find everything. Now, one of the things that you're going to be seeing me using a lot is the, is the media generators. Okay, media generators, the ASDA. The test, the legacy test, uh, you know, titles, test, the pre-made sets, uh, just patterns. You, all, you know, you, we're going to use this a lot. Okay, it's one of the things that you see a lot in my videos, it comes from the media generators. Okay, and then media generators again, you just select the one you want, you click all, drag and drop to your media. Now, moving up to the top here, now we have uh, basically, uh, if you want to start a new project, you click here, it overrides the existing one, you can save or just start a brand new one. Uh, new empathy project, okay, empathy project cleans your media, open a uh, file that you have saved, so pretty much you probably be familiar with these ones save the project you can also save by going to you know under project you can save you got different uh, save save us okay make a movie import media 
import new video come corda disk capture video so if you have a, a video a webcam or you have a, a, your video camera as the driver that is connected to your PC you can use that to record the video in real time and upload it into Sony Vegas straight away from uh, within your camera so you know all these features are important that you know them right now and you go around this you check the properties okay so properties uh, we actually do we're gonna do a video just for this okay because this is the settings how you produce video etc but every time you do video uh, it depends what format your camera recording this you need this is one of the things you need to find out you know but uh, as default you may go in HD uh, you know HD 720 here so go to the hd 720 and 50p which is probably the one uh, here for 1080 24 that's that's okay so if you're editing you know if you don't know what your camera is uh you basically use you know i use this one hdv which is the advanced uh recording which my camera has and you can use it 20 frames per 29 frames per second 30 frames per second so use this one and see how the, the image looks like if his image doesn't look right then try use this one okay to 50 fps per minute okay or if your camera has the uh, 90 20 by 1080 if you're recording on other dimensions then use that one okay but at, like again like i said we're gonna do a video just touching on these subjects here because this is how you should produce your video for better video quality um okay so next we're moving up the top so basically uh, properties you know is exactly what we just did is just instead of being inside the project that we did here you can see the same icon okay get media from the web within touching the one share online so you know you can upload videos directly from here into youtube as well but you know i recommend that you always save the file into your computer watch it a couple of times and make sure it, you know it's good okay uh, next preview view to blur windows layout so basically you know what this do does is you know let's say for instance you remove the preview window and now you go oh no i lost this is what i'm gonna do basically all you do is you go to the view window and you view you see video preview you bring it back okay and it's like the same thing for the trimmer or for whatever you delete you just go to view window okay you find the trimmer and you get it back okay so uh, insert so insert audio envelopes uh, we're probably going to do a video just for this but it's good that you know you see where they are okay text media again it's just a quick shortcut instead of going through the media generators you can just click here on the adz the markers and the short keys for the markers the regions so we'll be working and using this in the upcoming videos uh, so you know tools okay so it's good that you get familiar where they are uh, because this is going to maximize your creat creativity okay extensions so this is when you get extensions we'll talk about that later on as well options so grid spacing rule of formats uh, again we'll be talking about this in the upcoming videos uh, probably the one i'm going to talk talk about here this video is nearly 10 minutes already but is the customize toolbar okay customize the toolbar so the toolbar is a peer okay this is your toolbar so if i go customize toolbar I can, you know, the, the ones that I use the most, I can actually add them up there and then I can just call them from there. So let's say I want to add, so this one is already there, you can see they are there, okay. And this is pretty much is trim start, trim hand, split, so again we're going to use this on the trimmer in the next video. Uh, but you know, record button for example, I can add it up there, okay, add it. So when I want to record, I can just click on the button and it starts to record. Uh, loop playback we got it down there uh, so pretty much you know you go through this capture video maybe you want to add it as well but it's here as well okay your capture video once you add me into the into the timeline you actually see the capture video appears there as well so you know it's something that you want to look into it i don't really make use of this feature that much i don't think you know unless if you some extensions and stuff like that i would have them uh, added to to the top there because the extensions usually is, is not on center way but pretty much you know anything that i use uh, i don't really make make much use of that okay 
one of the things that I do make use of it, you can see I just reset it, and now this is exactly like your uh, movie studio will be set up as default. You know, to make a movie, show me how questions. Uh, that one may be good to use. Uh, show me how is a bit of this, so you may want to check what that is and to make a movie. So I'm just going to remove those from there because I don't really, you know, make a move, make a movie, remove. I want to remove as well. And this one is the one I'm telling. It's a good idea that you have that one, especially when you're learning, because what's happened is once you, you know, click on a trim and show me, okay? The system actually, once you click, it actually goes ahead and gives you a tutorial, tells you how to use that, okay? So if, once you add the media, that will happen. So let's try and add here a solid. If I bring media now here to the timeline, Okay, you open in my nether window here, but you can see it is the set. We were talking about these keyframes, etc. That's the keyframes. Okay, for information, if you heard about it, we really don't know where they are, but that's the keyframes, and we can create more. We'll be using this on the upcoming, and here is the plugin help. Okay, you can click there, and basically tells you what you should do with the plugin. But, you know, again, it's test. It's a bit slow because I'm doing the video. I'm scanning my computer so things are quite slow, but here it goes, it gives you a small tutorial what that does, okay, there you go, so that is it for this tutorial, Movie Studio Platinum uh, 12, uh, I talked about pretty much cover what I want to cover from here on, what we're going to do is moving to the next video which is uh, what is the trimmer and what you can do with the trimmer, and then after that we'll start with it and make some cool stuff, okay, once again, I'm Jose Nunes, thanks for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe, Bye bye for now. And to find more videos like this, remember to go to Martin Video DIY.com.